Arrowverse fans have something truly special to look forward to at the end of this year. The Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover starting on December 2019 and wrapping up in January 2020 is the longest, most expansive Arrowverse crossover to date. One that links together five different shows in a conflict for the fate of existence itself. So here's everything we know about it so far. All five official Arrowverse series, Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and Batwoman will participate in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Crisis will see the return of the Legends after they gave last year's crossover a hard pass. Black Lightning is not an official Arrowverse show, but given the very nature of Crisis on Infinite Earths, many fans are predicting this will change by the time the crossover wraps up. Crisis on Infinite Earths is based on the 80s comic book crossover of the same name. As in the comics, the crossover revolves around a massive conflict between cosmic beings known as the Monitor and the Anti-Monitor. When the Anti-Monitor unleashes an anti-matter wave that begins consuming countless worlds in the multiverse, the Monitor gathers heroes from a number of worlds to make their final stand and prevent existence from being annihilated. Whereas past Arrowverse crossovers have largely served as standalone stories, Crisis will build directly on existing Arrowverse storylines, including 2018's Elseworlds crossover. In particular, The Flash has been teasing an eventual Crisis storyline since Season 1, with Barry Allen and his friends regularly haunted by a future newspaper headline that reads, Flash Missing, Vanishes in Crisis. Until recently, that newspaper was dated 2024, but the events of Flash's season five finale caused the newspaper date to move up to 2019. Arrow has also been directly setting the stage for Crisis lately. Oliver Queen was called out of retirement in Arrow's season seven finale, recruited by the Monitor to help combat the coming crisis. Their alliance will continue to be a major focal point in Arrow's eighth and final season. Like Barry, Ollie faces the very real chance that he won't survive the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's fair to describe Crisis on Infinite Earths as the Arrowverse equivalent of Avengers Endgame. I mean, heck, another crossover came on the heels of the Age of Ultron and acknowledged that. Bunch of superheroes in a farmhouse? Yeah, like I've seen that in a movie before. Like Endgame, this crossover serves as the culmination of various character arcs and plot lines. It is the end of a major chapter in the shared superhero universe and a catalyst for major status quo changes. Crisis on Infinite Earths will have easily the largest cast and the craziest guest star list of any Arrowverse crossover to date. In addition to the main and supporting characters from Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Batwoman, and Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning star Cress Williams has confirmed on Instagram that his character will also appear in the crossover. LaMonica Garrett will be pulling double duty as both the Monitor and Anti-Monitor, and Tom Cavanaugh, no stranger to playing multiple roles, will play Pariah, a scientist who reluctantly helps the Anti-Monitor achieve its goals of multiversal destruction, in addition to portraying a new version of Harrison Wells in The Flash, season six. Crisis will also debut several new characters in addition to returning favorites. Brendan Routh, who currently plays Ray Palmer slash the Atom in the Arrowverse, will once again don the red cape, but not the same one he previously wore in 2006's Superman Returns. He will play a Kingdom Come-inspired Superman. Legendary Batman voice Kevin Conroy will make a live action appearance as Bruce Wayne from the future. Possibly Old Man Wayne from Batman Beyond? Here's hoping. Former TV Robin Burt Ward has also been cast in an undisclosed role. And finally, the crossover will also introduce Superman and Lois Lane's baby, paying off on an ongoing subplot where the two characters have been away from Earth. If that insane guest list isn't enough to get you hyped, well, I don't know what will. With crisis unfolding midway through the 2019-2020 season, fans will have plenty of time to see the impact of the crossover play out in these various shows. The Flash showrunner Eric Wallace revealed at Comic-Con that the crisis will effectively divide season six into two halves, with crisis paving the way for a brand new storyline and new main villain. Whether Barry Allen himself will still be around remains to be seen. Many are speculating that Crisis will follow the comics and result in the current multiverse being consolidated into one, with all Arrowverse characters now existing on the same Earth. That was the biggest outcome from the comic. 
as the five surviving worlds of the multiverse were merged to form one unified DC universe. Going forward, we may see Kara Danvers and her city become permanent residents of Earth-1, allowing for more frequent Flash slash Supergirl crossovers. Similarly, this could be a way of directly integrating the cast of Black Lightning into the larger Arrowverse. Even if Jefferson Pierce and his family don't currently exist in the same world as Barry Allen and Kara Danvers, this may change by the time Crisis has wrapped. It's harder to say how Crisis will impact Legends of Tomorrow, as Season 5 won't even begin until the crossover starts. Season 4 set the stage for a new team mission, with the Legends now hunting down resurrected historical figures who escaped from Hell. Whether Crisis will complicate that mission remains to be seen. Batwoman is another mystery, as the series won't even premiere until October and may or may not be impacted by the fallout of Crisis. Finally, don't be surprised if Crisis sets the stage for new Arrowverse shows down the line. The new adventures of old Superman, maybe? An Arrow spinoff with Oliver and Felicity's children? Who knows? With Arrow ending, there's at least one hole in the CW lineup that needs filling in 2020. So, are you excited for this year's Arrowverse crossover? Let us know in the comments. And for more on DC superheroes, check out our reviews for the first episode of Batwoman and the Batman Hush movie. And be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.